that, ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Welcome back to the next Freddy Fish game. Um, uh, four? Freddy Fish 4? Uh, the case of the something or other. Uh, <laughs> Freddy Fish 4. I have to like. Freddy Fish 4, the case of the hog rustlers of Briny Gulch. So, please end my suffering. I don't want to do any more Freddy Fish. Uh, my nostalgia has really whittled it down to the gems, hasn't it? There's Cousin Calico's ranch! Aw, shit. I can't wait! Let's go, Freddy! Aw, shit. Here we go. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. So, the hogfish are gone. Your gasp. I'm actually gonna try and do something here real quick. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna do something here real quick. Uh. Wow, that's actually very impressive. Let's go find us some hogfish. So this is probably the game I have the best memory Look, of because this is the Freddy Fish game I sea more or less grew up playing. I think this was one of two We're Freddy Fish games I owned. I owned number four and number five. So these are the two that I have the best memory of. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Let's start with this guy. He looks Customers! Ahem! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. How oh, very suspicious. Suspicious actions are suspicious. What are these plans? No, oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very So popular. later in the game, we actually need a belt buckle. It's all coming back to me. So I need to make a rustler disguise. Ah, it's this game is so... This is actually, I think, no, the fifth one was definitely the best one, but... Oh, this is kind of cool. Check this out. So if she spits... 
Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Oh, uh, good squid. I'm the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. Er, uh, Perry Winkle. Okay, well, they're useless. For now, anyways. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Two, one, three. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. I, in all complete honesty, I'm really digging this music that this guy has going here. So, my family, last year, during the pandemic, we got a player piano. So it's basically a, you basically put in this roll that tells the piano how to play. And using suction, it's able to, with the, in, in the, uh, in the notes, or in the paper, there's these little slots that basically the, they function as bass. They tell the piano like what keys to play through. Uh, the slots do something with suction or whatever. I'm not totally sure how it works, even though I'm kind of an engineer and I should know how that works. But uh, we just got a scroll for the entertainer and I played that the other day. It's all it's all pedal power. So one, I get a really good workout, and two, it sounds incredible because a player piano can play all these different notes that a conventional person wouldn't be able to play. So it sounds really really full. But I really like that this guy is going like ham on that piano. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. And this is my pal Luther. Well, hello, Eight Fingered Phil, Doctor ah, Piano he's, he's OG. An octopus. He's got at eight your fingers. service. I like it. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious-looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but. That's about it. Sorry. Such a I meme. can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Uh-oh. Suspicious. Suspicious! Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Now it's kind of funny is I think this is another Freddy Fish game where depending on how you play you can play it multiple times and different people will be guilty of cattle rustling. So in one instance the octopus is guilty. So the note that he's talking about isn't necessarily could either be this note which proves his guilt or it could be about it's a, a piano. Or it could be a piano note which is really really cool. And I, and I think that's just, uh, and I think that's hilarious, the, the piano note thing. I thought that was really clever. It was due to road construction. Because when I was a kid, he's like, he's got to be talking about that note. But now, but then, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I was talking to this buddy about that piano note. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Two, one, three. This shouldn't be too hard. Two, one, we just have to punch in the combination. One. Two. One. One. Two. Three. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnet, what's that racket? 
Someone's coming! Hurry! Ah, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. These are the questions. That must be one of the rustlers. <laughs> I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. So, this is kind of interesting. So, in this game, you have to have a blue hat with a bolo tie, red bolo tie, and a belt buckle with the letter L on it. But in different games, it could be a different color hat with different colored letters. It's actually pretty cool. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? Because you're a child! That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Ah, WrestleMania, I get it. A blue 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be wrestlers. I Since didn't you can't under get in, cause this the hideout writing in this is one is actually only. really good. I love all the okay, stupid dad jokes. Thank you. This is the wrestler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we, we going them. to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now, like it says? Well. I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. So we need to get... You hogfish, quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. So this way should be open now. We, we should be able to progress to the level now. I guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. So we need to find these guys some wood so they can turn their round dance floor into a square dance floor. We'll be back for this guy later, because I know we're going to need stuff from here. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi he was Premium in the last Gum game. and Wheelnut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish. And this is my pal, Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Ha! Those are pickle fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all. 
friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. So, what this kind of reminds me of this gum and nuts thing is uh, the company behind the Juicy Fruit. Uh, I can't think of the name Juicy Fruit Gum. They used to not sell gum, they used to sell uh, some other product that they coupled it, that they grouped in another product with. It was like soap they sold with like flour. It was flour they sold with like soap as like an added bonus. And the soap became more popular than the flour, so they started selling the flour, the, just the soap. Then they started selling, giving gum away with it. Then the gum became more popular, so then they sold gum. Kind of your fun little fact for the day. Wow. Wanted black tooth clipper. That is a face only a mother could love. Ha! Nailed it. We made it! I knew we could do it! Y'all are idiots. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! And a handle! The crank handle! What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah. I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. These are the real questions we should be asking. Like, how the hell did that get here? Oh, good. Now they're chilling. Oh. Where do I get back to once I came? There we go. Uh, that guy we can't pass yet. Huh? Wow, that's amazing! You should see my brother! Huh? Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't! Why is that? I think I'm stuck! Alright, I don't remember what to do there. Let's kill Barker. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Oh, I think we if we find a harmonica, we can get our, our, the bolo tie from him. Oh, and if we can find this guy a new a new door for his mailbox, we can use that for our belt buckle. It's all coming back to me! Look at that poor guy spinning on the propeller. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and purple? I'm not dealing with that. Stop this crazy thing! I think I heard something. Hang on. Ah! We gotta find the right one. What is this? I think that did something. That definitely did something. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Hi! Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. Watch this, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um. Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking afoot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! And he's just off yeah, into the sunset. Oh, I'm sorry, Luther. Wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. And we'll take that rope. This could come in handy. I really don't know what's next. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, Ooh, and I this, this is part. my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Mm. Oh, now, what was the rest of it? Uh, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. <sighs> the wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Remember this nut. Busted his poor nut. Are you ready to start? No, nope, we're not doing this. Okay, so I... Alright, I know what nut I need. Check it. Oh, I remember now, so... If we save the mailman, he delivers the package to this guy to get his new door. Which, we'll talk to this guy first real quick once. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. I may not. Here's a pro We'd like. Here's another pro You can select any shape. This one looks good. We want that nut. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in. You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry, I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah, what is it? Well, all I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Let's check this out. I'm about to fix his nut here. We did it! It's fixed! And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there! Don't ever oh. mention G-L-U-E Oh, I get it because they make glue out of horses! Something awful. I get it! I finally get What's the juice! What's not against glue? <laughs> oh, wow, that, that joke is actually very dark. have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hum it in peace. Thank you. 
Oh, that was fun. Ooh, free wood. He said he needed a... These guys said they needed seven by seven. Purple. This should be useful. How did you do that? That's my special secret. I don't like what that entails. Uh, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir! Everybody in this ga damn game's suspicious. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Everybody in this game is suspicious. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. This is actually kind of a cool little cut scene. <laughs> <laughs> the writing and the, just the quality of the Freddy Fish games, I believe, oh, we're spiked. Here is done. Like, Are you there's thinking a huge what I'm spike thinking? Three and Coffee four. break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. The dude just looked like he was 10,000% done with our shit. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay, something about a handle here. That handle belongs somewhere. Now, turn the handle. <laughs> Here, let me help. <laughs> we did it, Luther! Why is the room spinning? Because uh, you're an idiot. It's an not absolute Luther. imbecile. A you buffoon. Are. Oh, that's better. Imbecile, a fool. Uh, I had a really good word the other day. Oh wow. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now. Simpleton, that's the word. Yeah, but what difference does that make? Oh, I can actually go into this porthole. Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Oh, now I can go get that gum. It's Cayenne. Cayenne? Um, Cayenne is kind of hot. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Luther, you simpleton. It feels like my tongue's on fire. Is it? No. It looks okay. Oh, hey, we're going to use this Woo! stuff on the puffer fish. I need to find the salt and pepper. It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding! I kinda like it, though. I think this is, like, pepper. It's 
Pepper. Really? This Perfect. cute spice container. This could come in handy. So there's MS oh MSG. That's funny. I really I need the letter L. Have I gone this way yet? I don't think I've gone this way yet. Wow! You're bigger than well. Just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Boy, Fluke, you're so big, I bet you could swallow the whole town. <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. It's a scam. He's going to eat you. Hey, this is neat. Hey, look, it's a 10-gallon hat. Oh, boy. It's stuck in there pretty good. Yeah. I wonder if... Can we use this as Come like Come on, boss? Luther. Let's try this. Luther is such a simpleton. How do people see out of these things? Oh, wait. There's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? So I had to Google it before, like, why do they call it a 10-gallon hat? Uh, allegedly, that was an over-exaggeration of how much liquid the hat could hold. There was even an ad about a guy, like, All feeding his right. horse water out of the hat. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth. Wait a second, I forgot something. Get me back to the spice jar. Nice, so now we got pepper. All right, you hogfish, pay attention. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please? Please just go to sleep. Please? Alright, so... I wonder if I need that gum for anything. Yeah! 
because that guy didn't need to be there. Gee, at all. I hope he was just he's there because okay. he's kind of an asshole. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. Simpleton. Oh, hey. Hey! A harmonica! It's all coming Is together, boys. I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Then I need the letter so this... L. That's got it. Oh damn, it's all coming together, boys. talk to this guy. If we give him the harmonica, he'll give yeah. us his bolo tie. Would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh, boy! So I tried learning to play the harmonica, and it's actually kind of hard. Well, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Right. Oh, I accidentally skipped past the cutscene. That one's on me. The first thing I need to do, have this guy spit in the spittoon. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. This is the insinuation of this is very gross. you see this picture? It's my son, Aww. Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back! Just gonna glue the thing. My best work! All that's missing is about. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. It's full Nelson and half Nelson. Ah, wrestling moves! I get it. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Right here, Sherlock. Alright, I 
I think we're ready. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rocker? Oh! Yes! I like the bolo tie. Wow! That's kind of scary! I'd almost believe you were a wrestler! Good! That's what we want! There! Those wrestlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing! It's a great outfit! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard! Wait! I'm coming with you! Good thinking, Luther. You can see his Let's tail off the back. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor boy, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh. We did it. There We're inside. Which way do you Imbecile. think the hogfish Absolute are? Absolute fool. Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers. What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. That's why we're gonna hey, do this bully ball. It looks ball. like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it. This is so easy. Although this is the one I know the best out of yeah! Maybe I know five really well. It's been a hot second. Hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. You can talk. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I have an idea. This is a nice dirty chain. I have, a, I have an idea. This part I don't remember as well. I think I see I something behind this thing. It's You're a hook. right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Let's turn the rudder. Hi to starboard, Ensign. Ugh, that sounded really bad. Oil up your Did damn you rudder. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it... I know exactly what it is, guys. I got this. I think this is the last puzzle and we win. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? 
I don't know. You simpleton. But I bet it will come in handy. Absolute buffoon, you simpleton. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. All right, check it. There. What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. Wow. Freddy might be swole. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! <laughs> Fire Freddy, away! Freddy. Come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. <laughs> oh, what do we do now, boy? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I don't know! Uh... I'll bet it's Nelson Torso! Oh, uh, but, uh, but, um... Business hasn't been very good at just buckles lately, has it? Well, no, but... And I noticed that you were building a barbell at your shop. Big enough for hogfish, maybe? No. You see, everyone thinks I keep in such great shape at my shop. I'm starting to get a little... flabby. So, the barbell... It's for me, yes! <gasps> but I'm not a rustler! No, he isn't. It's not Nelson? That was a good guess, but no, it's not him. Then which one of us is it? Do I have to keep guessing? I bet it was those two construction workers. They probably need the extra money for coffee. Does uh, rustling pay more than construction work? I doubt it. No, the they're, construction they're workers are true. innocent. It's actually very true. Construction is good business. Maybe it was the squids. They're all pretty suspicious looking. No, squids. We squids would never I'm take something that so didn't weird. belong to us. I'll raise these boys upright. That's right, she did. Yipper! I'm sure you did. No, it's not any of the squids. What? Oh! Well, then who is it? Who's Mr. Big? I suspect Mr. Fingers! Whoa! No way, baby! I don't know wrestling. Just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustlers saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. Told a you. musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. This is true. Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the sheriff, 
He'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Who is it? Well, who is it then? Was it Stella from the Soda Loon? If she has a rustling business on the side, that might explain how she can afford to give out sodas on the house. Oh, come now. It certainly wasn't me. And soda is a lot cheaper than you think. Really? This is also true. Very. Yes, it wasn't Stella. She's an honest businesswoman. Okay. But then, who's the mastermind? Mr. Burker, you've been in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a I really loan don't know shark who it is. They didn't it. give us any clues. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Aha! Oh, it was a loan we shark! We read your I.O.U. Even though you tried to tell us it was a poem, you rustled the hogfish to pay off your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <gasps> what was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman, and I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish were still chewing it when we You're got You're right, here. they were chewing yes, the gum. Yes, rubber bubble lasts a long time. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. It's a fabulous product. I'm an imbecile. Which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good, and I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. Why is it it hurts freezing? other people, and it's just why, plain why is wrong. You're yeah, right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats? Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Well, I want to thank everybody for their support so far in the series. I'm going to end it right here. Um, when we come back with the next Return to Nostalgia, Freddy Fish 5, uh, something something sea monster or whatever. But until then, guys, be seeing ya.